Okay, welcome back. So I'm now looking at number seven. Uh, the first part of number seven, we're going to be finding uh, the term of this expanded polynomial here uh, that contains b to the fourth. So once we distribute this all out, we wonder what's the stuff going to be around b to the fourth? What, what things are going to be multiplying with it? Okay. So this is where the binomial theorem comes in real handy because we don't need to expand this whole thing to figure out one particular term, okay? And so the binomial theorem says that in our case, well, so generally as it's stated on your formula sheet, is a plus b to the n power is the sum from n equals zero or sorry, i equals zero. They might use k even. Um, i equals zero to n of this binomial coefficient n choose i and it's a to the n minus i because we're as, as we go along in our sum, we're decreasing the power on A and then increasing the power on B. So this is our, um, what the, they'll give you this on the, the test, but this is the statement of the binomial theorem, okay? And with the sigma notation, it looks really intimidating, right? But this just means I'm starting at zero and going up to N and plugging in i equals zero and then adding it to plugging in one, adding it to plugging in two, and so on and so forth up until you get to n, okay? So in our case, what we're dealing with here is a plus three b to the sixth power is equal to the sum and it would be from i equals zero to n in this problem is six, right? So six and six choose i. Everywhere there's an n, I'm putting in a six, okay? As well, I don't just have a and b in here. I have a and three b. So the a stays the same. We're gonna have six minus i but B is going to switch and it's going to be, we're going to be doing powers on 3B. Okay. So, um, and this is the same thing, right, as doing like 6, choose 0, starting at 0, we just plug in 0, A to the 6th plus 6, choose 1, we decrease the power on a, so a to the fifth, and increase the power on 3b, and then we keep going along here. The reason why I'm kind of writing it out this way is so that I don't have to write all of this out to find the term that I need. Um, if you notice here, the term that I need, we need to have a b to the fourth in it. Well. Um, in my equation here, the b is here, right, and the power on it is i. So if I want b to be raised to the fourth power, I just need i to be four, and so that will be the term that I'm wanting to find. In other words, i equals four gives me the right term. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to look at that term, replace i with 4. So 6 minus 4 is 2, right? And then 3b to the fourth power. Okay, so that will be the term. If I wrote all these out, right, this would be the term that has 3b to the fourth in it. Okay. Um, and so now I just simplify this and there's another formula that you'll have to use 
um, which is that when you do n choose r, it's n factorial divided by r factorial times n minus r factorial. Okay. So in our case, 6 choose 4 is 6 factorial, and I'll explain what those exclamation points mean in a second. R is 4 because it's in the bottom. N minus R, so N is 6, R is 4, 6 minus 4 is 2, 2 factorial. A squared times well, let's distribute in that fourth power on both things there. Okay? And then we just simplify this. Okay? Well, you do have to remember what a factorial does. And a factorial times all the numbers smaller than this number. So, in this case, 6 factorial is 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Okay? 4 factorial is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Okay? And then 2 factorial is just 2 times 1. Okay? So we've got, and then a squared, 3 to the 4th, and b to the 4th. Okay, now we can just simplify this. Note that you can cancel out some stuff here. The four, three, two, ones, those cancel out because they're on the top and bottom. We can cancel out this two with the six to give me three. So three times five, which would be 15, and then times that three to the fourth that we have there. Um, so 15. is 12.15. Okay, so we end up getting 12.15 because we do 3 to the 4th times 15 and then a squared b to the 4th. So this would be the term um, in this expanded polynomial, the only one that has b to the 4th in it. Okay, so it's a little bit easier to use binomial theorem if you're looking for a particular term. Um, then you don't have to do all of the terms expanding it out to get your answer. You just have to kind of simplify the one that you want, okay? And you don't have to waste a bunch of time finding terms that you don't care about as you would have to do uh, using Pascal's triangle. So um, anyway, that is number 7a. There's another one of these on the review that you can practice. I think these are the same problems as were on the chapter 8 uh, test review that we had. So um, you maybe have done them before, but you can just maybe review real fast, make sure you, that you are good on those concepts. So um, hopefully that helps. Uh, I will see you in the next video.